Hello guys, welcome to the next video on HTML tutorial for beginners using HTML5. In this video, we will see how to download and install a few uh, editors for developing HTML web pages. Now, in this video, I'm going to talk about two editors. One is really simple and easy, which is Notepad++. And second is Eclipse IDE, which is really advanced but easy to use. Okay, so first of all, how to download and install Notepad++? You just need to search for Notepad++, and uh, the site here will pop up. Will be from Notepad minus plus minus plus dot org. Just click this link, and if you want to read more about Notepad++, you can read it from here. But uh, otherwise, you can go to download, and in here you have this Notepad++ installer. Just Click this, it will be uh, downloaded in the form of exe file. Just run it, it's really simple and it will be uh, installed in one minute, I can say. So, once you have installed Notepad, you just need to click this icon here and it will look like this. And for the first time, when you want to uh, create a HTML file, you can just click new from here or go to file and click new and then save it as. So just right click on it and save as and choose the folder where you want to uh, you know you want to create this file and the, in the extension you need to choose HTML from here and then you just need to give the name to your file for example test.html and save it and it will be saved in the form of HTML and you can start writing your HTML code like this okay. So once you have uh, written your code, you can save it and then just go to run and then you can launch your uh, code in Firefox, Internet Explorer, Chrome, Safari or other uh, browsers, right? So this is Notepad++. Now in order to install Eclipse IDE, it can be a little bit overwhelming, but I can guarantee you it will help you in the longer run. So for installing Eclipse IDE, first of all, you need to have a Java JDK installed on your system and uh, Java, you can install it by going to the Oracle website. So just search for Java JDK and the first uh, link which will pop up here will be from oracle.com and then some extension. Just click this link here and you will uh, see Java here. I will put the link in the description of the video which I have made to install Java JDK on your uh, Windows operating system so you can see it and uh, see how uh, we can install Java JDK on our Windows operating system including the environment variables okay so just click that link and then uh, you can uh, see how I have installed Java JDK once you have installed Java JDK and set up your environment variable for Java JDK, then you can uh, go to install Eclipse IDE. Now, in order to download Eclipse IDE, the simple thing is to do search for uh, Eclipse download, and the first link which will pop up here will be from eclipse.org/downloads, and go here. And in here you will see variety of uh, Eclipse IDE uh, for developing Java, for developing C++, PHP and other uh, languages. But what we want is Eclipse IDE for Java EE developers. Okay. So we want this first link which says Java EE. Okay. And if you read it carefully, uh, it says tool for Java developer creating Java EE and web applications. So we are going to develop web applications. That's why we want to use this, right? Now, in order to download it, you need to know which uh, operating system you have. You have 64-bit operating system or 32-bit operating system. In most of the cases, you will be having 64-bit, but uh, just uh, be sure which operating system you have. I have 64. So I will click 64-bit operating system here and uh, then you will see this uh, download link for from the mirror which is closest to you. Mine is uh, this mirror which is closest to my location 
or you can see uh, other download links when you scroll down right and they even have uh, some links which are faster for example IBM you can click this uh, link and you will be able to download Eclipse IDE uh, really fast from these sites and in order to download it you just need to click download 64 bit right and click save okay now it's a relatively bigger file it's around uh, 270 megabytes so you need to wait for a few minutes to download this file i have already downloaded this file so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to uh, this folder where i have uh, downloaded this uh, zip file so this will be a zip file with the extension zip you can see here in the properties right now you need to extract this so right click on it extract all and give the location when where you want to extract this file okay so i'm going to give the location where i want to extract this which is uh, inside this folder which i have created and i will click ok and i will click extract and this extraction also going to take uh, some minutes because it's a big zip file right so this extraction is going to uh, take few minutes in a meanwhile you can uh, grab uh, some coffee or some tea for you while it's uh, extracting right so once your eclipse zip folder is extracted it will look like this so there will be a eclipse folder and when you go inside this eclipse folder you will be able to see all these files and what you need to do is you need to choose this eclipse which has this eclipse icon here and right click on it and you can see uh, these options you can pin it to your taskbar this will pin this eclipse to the taskbar and uh, you can even uh, make a shortcut for eclipse and you can drag and drop this shortcut to your desktop here and then you can open eclipse from here now double click on eclipse and for the first time when you open eclipse this is the common error if this error doesn't appear to you then it's really good but this is really common error which says jvm terminated exit code is equal to 2 and if you face uh, this uh, error then how to solve it you can solve it really easily so what you need to do is you just need to go to your search option and search for system here and in the system you just need to uh, click advanced setting and in advanced setting go to environment variables and in environment get variables go to path here okay and in the path you will be able to notice here that there is a, a wrong java path uh, which is by default added by windows 8 i don't know how it's added uh, to uh, this path variable you need to remove it right so it will look like this this path is something like c colon slash program data slash oracle slash uh, java slash java path you just need to remove this with semicolon okay so in my case it's at the first place i will remove it from here and make sure that the real java path is uh, already provided in your environment variable which is uh, which will be something like c colon slash program file slash java slash uh, jdk slash bin and jre slash bin okay and click ok and click ok and click ok and then once again when we uh, run our eclipse it will run okay so double click it and now it's running okay so this is the simple way of solving this problem now for the first time when eclipse starts it will ask you uh, for uh, choosing your default workspace the workspace is nothing but the location where all your project will be saved okay and it will uh, give you the default option also so just choose the default option from here and click ok now you will be able to see this kind of uh, perspective in eclipse so this is for the first time when you open your eclipse ide 
it will look like this now creating your project you just need to go to here files and go to new and here you will be able to see so many uh, options for creating projects right so let's create a quick project in eclipse for uh, developing html uh, files so what you need to do is you just need to go here new and choose static web project so just choose this static web project and in here give the name to your project for example my test project and you can click next to see what are the other options this will be your uh, content folder name and then click finish and click yes and once you click yes what you need to do is you just need to go here at the left hand side and just below your file there will be a small uh, button which says restore you just need to click this button here and then you will be able to see your project here okay and here you can see the welcome uh, screen you can uh, just resize it or you can just close it from here like this and then you can go to your uh, project and in here you will be able to see this web content folder right now it's empty so you can right click it and uh, you can create a new html file so just go to new and then click html file option and give the name to your html file for example test.html okay click next and these are the default options and then click finish and it's going to create a html file with some default content for you right now in order to run this i will just quickly run this but i will describe all this code in the next video line by line let's run it uh, once now to run this html file what you can do is you can go to your project once again and go to this web content folder and here is your uh, test.html file so you can right click on it and then you can just click open open with and click open with web browser okay and it's going to open your html file in the web browser which is uh, inbuilt in eclipse okay and if you uh, change some uh, something here so this is my test file for example you uh, write something save it so you to save it you just need to click this button and then once again when you uh, refresh this uh, web browser page you will be able to see uh, your uh, message here right so right click on it open with and in web browser and you will be able to see your uh, file in web browser okay so this is the output your of your html file so in this way you can uh, install eclipse ide for developing your uh, static html pages in eclipse ide and i hope you have enjoyed this video please wait comment and subscribe and bye